We're cutting down the trees And there's oil in our seas And it's getting hard to breathe Because we've changed the world So here we are at Gonzales Community School. This is one of the schools that's undergone a recent remodel and it's a great example of all the energy and water efficiency features that we've embedded in our facilities across the district. There's all kinds of wonderful ways that we can save energy and water. Another component of what we're trying to do district-wide is reduce our waste and increase our recycling. And we're here today with Lisa Merrill, who's the Education Outreach Coordinator for Burke. Some of the schools, especially the high schools, are really just charging and increasing their diversion rate or their recycling rate um, and basically eliminating stuff that was unnecessarily going to the landfill. Burt is the Buckman Road Recycling and Transfer Station, and that is where all of the recyclables go in Santa Fe. It's really that kind of whole cycle, full circle uh, awareness that yeah. then they hopefully bring to home, bring to family members, their friends, yeah. and, and we keep growing this program. We start thinking in that longevity, in that long view, um, it's really, I think, really motivating to yeah. start reducing, reusing, and recycling and teaching our kids to do the same. This is their future, yeah. and you know, we want to leave a clean, healthy planet for our kids. So this is another great example of a district-wide energy conservation initiative. This is an LED parking lot light. What used to be a 400 watt bulb is now a 120 watt bulb that's directed downward so you don't have so much night pollution and you don't have the energy demand. We also conserve water by this downspout. This school was the first facility in Santa Fe Public Schools to actually have solar power. We're really proud of, of Amy Beale Community School. Uh, it's really a success story in many ways. We have four cisterns at Amy Beale, and so we have the capacity to collect almost 6,000 gallons of water every time it rains. So my name is Aviva and I work for Earth Care. I'm a garden teacher at Amy Beale Community School, and this is how we recycle every Monday morning. tell nobody's here at midnight are they there's hardly any natural gas but then when we turn the heat on so it's nice and warm when you get to school that's when it goes way up and you start to use the gas to keep your school warm and then as the day warms up you're going to see those bars go down 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 because we don't need so much heat in the school so I hope you guys will show your friends how to use this and your your families if they come and, and okay. learn about your school and the energy okay. and water that it takes Amy Beale has gone solar. 288 panels will create 76 kilowatts of electricity for Amy Beale, generating 30% of Amy Beale's electrical demand all from the sun. One, two, three. So we're here at Santa Fe High at Ivanhead Stadium on the football field. I'm here with Leslie Kilmer, Santa Fe High principal. And we want to tell you a little bit about why this field is not the green, lush field you usually see this time of year. We are replacing this field with synthetic turf. We're doing that because we need to save water in this high desert mountain southwest, and we need to save fiscal resources. This field takes up to 5 million gallons to stay green and healthy, and 100,000 of the taxpayer dollars to do that. The students, you know, they had a little curveball thrown at them when all of a sudden they realized that their graduation, uh, there was a little bit of change because of the ability to have the synthetic field. So I took it to student government and the student government discussed it with their members and what they decided was it was more important to have, to save the water, to conserve so that we would be in savings for the district. And they let me know that they had selected a recyclable gown for this year's graduation. And so we're very, very excited about that. So the kids, along with saving the water and also the recyclable gown, so Santa Fe High School is going green. Thanks everybody for coming out tonight. Uh, beautiful evening for football. Fantastic evening uh, to celebrate this incredible accomplishment. 
Uh, for those of you who went out and voted for the general obligation bond back in February, you're responsible for this field right here. We say thank you to you. One of the reasons, besides supporting our student athletes with this field, uh, one of the reasons that, that we chose this project was water is a precious resource in this community, in this region. Since we turned the water off here in March, we've saved 1.7 million gallons in water. That also equates to $51,000 in water bills we did not pay. One, two, three. Go! So here we are at Salazar Elementary School. A few really unique energy and water conservation features are a special part of this school. There's a synthetic turf plate, and we also have an underground water catchment system. I'm here with Richard Jennings from Earthrights Designs, the designer and installer and visionary of the system. Okay. Well, what do you need to make the stuff grow? Water. Okay, so the water is going to come from the roof of your school, and then it's going to come out. And these four, eight gardens here, you can do experiments. You can measure the water that you just put on your garden and keep track of it through the whole season. Hello, my name is Christopher and I am the sustainability educator here at Salazar Elementary School. And this is our lovely garden with some of our awesome students here getting ready to plant some potatoes. So this is the Salazar Green. This is a synthetic turf field. And it was part of a larger effort to get kids outside, to get kids exercising, to connect them with the garden, natural resources, their natural environment, and of course our water collection system. A field like this can use up to two million gallons of water every season and cost upwards of $50,000 to maintain. And so this synthetic turf allows kids to be outside, it allows us to save water, allows us to save money, and completes really this beautiful energy efficient facility called Salazar Elementary. We have the power in our hands to help our fellow man and finally take a stand and change the world. So here we are with the big blue bin. Uh, blue is the city and countywide recycling color, so we thought what would be better than to have a slogan called Look for the Blue, where the kids can relate what they put into their recycling bin in the classroom comes out to this big blue bin. And it also shows right here in English and Spanish with pictures what is recyclable and what is not. And we've increased our recycling district-wide by doing this, so we say thanks to the city for that support. And this blue bin looks beautiful, doesn't it? <laughs> So I'm pretty much convinced that the uh, Santa Fe public school system is the most uh, sustainable and environmentally friendly organizations in town by far. Well, thanks for saying that. I mean, we really are very focused on energy and water conservation. We're venturing into sustainability education with our, the way Santa Fe public school schools does business as a way of building and designing and remodeling our schools. Please help me change it. Please help us change it We have to change